My name is John Venture, and I was in Australia in the year 2000 for my daughter's uh, gymnastics Olympics. And uh, I was in a taxi with my other daughter, and a bus ran a red light and hit us going 60 miles an hour. And my injuries were I had two skull fractures across my frontal lobe and my temporal lobe. I fractured my C5 and C7 vertebrae. I fractured my right hip. Uh, this bone was out of my leg. Uh, I had tons of glass all through this side of my body from when I went through the windshields. And uh, and they told the doctor there, told my wife that, you know, he's not going to make it. Probably won't make it. There's, there's no way he's going to probably pull through this tonight. He, he was hooked up to every machine imaginable in the hospital. We honestly can't thank Sydney's care enough, but he was in a coma for six weeks. He could not travel home, obviously, until he was stabilized. I thought I was going home, but then I went straight to UCLA, and I was at UCLA for a while. I don't know how many months it was, but their idea, their, they thought I should go to hospital because first of all, it was closer to my house and it was extremely really high for brain injuries. These guys remember what he looked like when he came into Casa Kalina and what they taught him in rehabilitation. He couldn't walk normally. His perception was damaged. His emotions were very out of control, very angry. When we first went to Casa Kalina, that was hard. It was tough. It was tough on her relationship because, uh, you know, I was independent. I did, I do a lot of, the, did a lot of the cooking, did a lot of, you know, the, well, the job. I worked six days a week, and it just came to a sudden halt. I quit both my jobs to take care of him full board, and couldn't have done that without the help of Casa Kalina, and giving me advice and working with him and me through the whole thing in our family. I went to therapy and met with one of the staff psychologists and she would ask me, what are the things you're dealing with at home that you need help with? And they would target those things. And I know Casa Kalina, like, it does make me tear up because like what she had to go through through this process is inspiring to all that will go through it eventually. And she could not have done it without them. As much as they cared for my dad and got him into an everyday life, they gave her the same care to help her. You know, I, and I started at Ground Zero, you know, Casa Kalina, and they brought me back, uh, I'm gonna say 100%. Just Casa Kalina took the utmost care for our dad and like I remember those days like my mom was saying it started from even just the simplest task of walking talking and learning how to function in all aspects of life everyday life the routine over and over and over and learning and they're working with you and I have never met one therapist or person that worked at Casa Clima that didn't make me believe that they were there for me. And I think that's huge. You know, they, they were never bothered. They were never, they always had more time than they needed. And they were definitely a life changer for what, how he was then to where he became over the years, especially that first year and a half. It was life changing what they did for him. The therapist that I talked to really helped out a lot, you know, and uh, uh, they were all different ones. But Dr. Patterson was a godsend. He was amazing. It was a long process. It's slow but steady. In Casa Colina, they are there every step of the way. I mean, we still remain in contact with a lot of those people. And they brought back a part of our dad that we'll forever be grateful for. I feel with our, you know, our strong belief in God 
him, Casa Kalina. They made him who he is today, for sure. If you give, uh, you give Casa Kalina and their employees the opportunity to do what they do, it's, it's uh, you're going to be amazed. You know, if, if, you know, some people don't believe in miracles. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You go to Casa Kalina and they work with you. You know, like, you are going to be the miracle. I promise you that. I, I didn't have any grandkids in the year 2000, and I wouldn't have seen one of my 18 grandkids if it wasn't for Casa Kalina. But how big of a more compliment can you have? I'm going to start crying. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I've come a thousand percent to the better, you know, and, uh, and it's not because of me, it's because of Casa Kalina.